Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a simple dot mandala flower and I'm using yellows and pinks and greens and it's just to show off the new tools that I have and to show you something very simple and easy to do and uh, yeah, you can uh, make it any color that you want. The colors I'm using are just suggestion. They're just what I happen to have in my stash. But whatever you want, you can change it to a blue flower or red flower, whatever you have on, on hand. So I started off with a center dot and it is, I believe, daffodil yellow. Um, and it's a very thick paint, so that's why I used it in the center so that I have um, a really good coverage on a larger dot. And then I went around uh, using my guidelines and putting in a smaller dot all the way around. I did the T um, or cross or plus sign, however you want to uh, visualize it. But I did that and then I filled in the blanks on the guidelines and then I went in with um, a slightly bigger dot. So now I'm doing one more size bigger uh, and I'm putting in the daffodil yellow again. The yellow that I used before was mellow yellow and I'm just making my center of my flower. Now I'm going in with a darker pink and this will be the uh, petals of the flower and I'm just putting one on every other guideline as I go around. So uh, all the colors will be listed in the description below and the brands that I used as well as I will put in a, a description as to what number tools I used. These tools I received from the dotting center and they're absolutely amazing. I love them. They're double ended. They're numbered one through I think it's 12. Um, and there's so many different varieties that uh, you could use them for. It's just, they're just amazing tools. I love them. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a nail stylist and I'm walking the dots around. So I'm applying one dot in the center of the bottom on the guideline. And then without reloading my tool, I am going to walk the dots up as close as I can, but not touching to that big center pink dot. I do that on both sides all the way around. As you move up around the center dot and you don't reload your tool, as you walk the dots, the paint comes off and lessens each time you make a dot. So that's why it automatically goes from a larger size to a smaller size as you dot. And it's such a cool effect because it really gives the essence of a petal and that's why I like doing it. So I did two rows, uh, one size bigger than the other, going around all of the petals, all around the flower. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And I post every Friday, so make sure that you hit that bell button so you get notifications every time I post. Now I'm going to show you a technique that has many different names, but I like to call it uh, dragging the dot. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a dot and you're going to make sure that there's lots of paint in there. So I usually dot two or three times on the same dot so that I've got a good load of paint on my rock. And then I use uh, the smallest tip tool from the dotting centers toolkit and I drag the dot down so it appears to be like a teardrop. I do this in between all of the petals and you'll see here I'm actually adding a little bit more paint because I didn't have enough. It's very easy to do and you just use your stylus and then you can use your tool again and drag it down to even out the paint. I do this between each of the petals and I add two smaller ones on either side that I'm going to show you very shortly and I just use the same technique. So I just dab uh, a dot of paint, make sure that it's really loaded, lots of paint on there and then I get my smallest tool from the dotting centers toolkit and I drag the dot down and it gives that appearance of a teardrop and uh, when they're put together this way uh, they look really really fancy and it's actually very simple to do. Now if you don't have one of the dotting centers dotting toolkit that's okay you don't need it you can use a toothpick 
or you can use a needle. Um, you can even use the end of a sharpened pencil. Um, all of it will work and your finished product will look great. Now I'm just doing a top dot on the daffodil yellow. It's really, really bright. So I use a smaller size and I use the mellow yellow. So I've got a dark, or I guess a bright yellow ring with the mellow yellow in the middle. You can really see it there. Um, then I also took some lighter pink and uh, did a smaller dot size on the pink dots. Um, and now I'm gonna let that dry. So I'm going back to that technique of dragging the dots and I'm putting in some leaves uh, for this beautiful flower that we're creating. So you can see there, I did a close up for you to show you just how much paint I'm actually putting down. It is quite a bit. And then I just use that uh, really small dotting tool and I just drag it uh, the way that I want it to go. So now I'm just adding uh, two more petals. Again, a lot of paint on there. I'm making sure that it's really loaded and I just drag it to the position that I want it to be in. Um, ends up looking really, really pretty. And later I will show you, I'm gonna do some uh, light green on those. But I do that all the way around and here's a close up as to what it looks like. It's such a simple technique, but it certainly adds that extra elegance to it. And that's one thing why I like to do it. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it like a top dot, but I'm going to drag it. So I'm putting on some of that light pink on those pink ones that I did a little bit earlier because they're completely dry now, so I can do the top dots. So same technique, I just load up my tool, put a dot down, dot it maybe once or twice more just to make sure that I've got a good load of paint on there and then I just drag it down, but I make sure that I stay close to the edge, but not go over the edge because I want that dark color to really, really show around the outside. So as I mentioned earlier, I said that I was going to do a light green on top of the dark green that we had done. So here I am doing it. Now the dots are pretty small, so I did a close up just so that you could get a a different visual of how the technique is done but I dotted all five of the petals at once so that I could just drag them all at once and here's a close-up on how it looks I just love the look of it and I do this all the way around on those dark petals that we've already painted so now what I'm doing is going to be the same technique but I'm going to go in the opposite direction so I'm loading up a dot at the tip of the pink ones that we did and I'm dragging it down rather than dragging it up. It's just to give it a little bit of a different visual by changing the direction on it and to show you that uh, the different ways that you can apply this technique um, to make it totally look different. And I'm also going to do different colors rather do, than doing the top dots or the top drags. I thought what I would do is do a dark center one and then do some light green on either side and then finish it off with a dark green. It's just to show you that uh, there are so many opportunities that if, as long as you let your imagination go with it, you can make so many really interesting designs just by using this technique. And that's just basically what I wanted to show you in this tutorial was to let you know that um, there is so many different techniques out there, but once you start applying them different ways, you get different designs out of them. And they all look so elegant when they're finished. So I finish it off with a little uh, dot in the center. And here's a little close up for you. Look at how pretty that is. Like it's just amazing. It's the same technique, just totally different. I finished it off with a light green dot in the center and I added some pink gems to the top of the flower petals just to finish it off. So there you have it folks, something very simple and easy to do, just using a couple of techniques and we're finished. So life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.